How they say he changed Dana is that they say he grew increasingly emotionally disturbed and that he said he was hearing voices. They say it always wasn't this way. In the Mount Eden neighborhood where 26-year-old Richard Rojas shares an apartment with his mother, his friends tell the story of a man they say has two personalities. It devastated me when I heard this. It, it broke my heart. Childhood friend Harrison Ramos describes a smart, gung-ho kid who was born in the Bronx, went to Taft High School and took college courses, only to become withdrawn and seemingly emotionally disturbed years later after a stint in the Navy from 2011 to 2014. He was into a lot of military stuff. That's why he joined. That's why he served his country, because he, he loves his country. And he, he just didn't come back the same. Ramos says his friends started posting strange messages on social media, describing some of the content as, quote, demonic. And while he says those messages have since been deleted, they caused him to distance himself from Rojas, which explains why this friend said he was unaware of this past criminal history. Rojas was arrested last Thursday for menacing, accused of pulling a kitchen knife on a visitor to his apartment. In April 2015, he was arrested for DWI and later pleaded guilty to operating a motor vehicle while impaired by alcohol. In August 2008, he was also arrested for DWI in Queens. Here is neighbor and friend Jose Medrano. He told us he is a family man, a hard worker, and a true friend. A police source says one possible motive they are looking into is suicide by cop, based on statements Rojas allegedly made to the arresting officers. Investigators took his mother from the home to interview her as they try to determine why this happened. Friends also need that answer. Friends say that Rojas told people he works in real estate, but it is unclear if he had any kind of realtor's license. Live in Mount Eden, the Bronx, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.